What if I told you about a metropolis with enhanced biometric access, automated cars all over the place, robots protecting malls and parking lots, and more? Nah, we're not talking about a future city. We're talking about the city of the future, instead. San Francisco is known as the city of the unusual, the unanticipated, and the unexpected. That sounded intriguing? Well, good, because it is. People snapping photos near the Golden Gate Bridge, some boarding a ferry to Alcatraz Island, cable cars moving, and families having picnics in Golden State Park. These are some typical city activities. Drive a few miles south of San Francisco and, uh, boom, you enter an entirely different universe. One that differs from a typical city, where everything revolves around innovation and technology. Or to put it another way, you enter a world with a multi-story business offices touching the sky. Or in other words, we can also call it a gigantic bustling tech hub. The city of dreams and ventures is home to plenty of tech companies and is also considered an entrepreneur's paradise. And I guess on what the place is yet, yeah, the given description is more than enough to guess the location I'm hinting at. Yup, you got it right. This place is none other than Silicon Valley, the most progressive and hap hoppin' and happenin' tech city on the planet. Technology has also become so ingrained in modern society that it affects every facet of daily life. People don't read anymore. Instead, they use Kindles, laptops in place of large desktop computers, and automated vehicles powered by electricity as opposed to steam. The changes are evident all around us. Technology is unquestionably the driving force behind these developments in our environment. And when we live in that kind of era, well, a vibrant tech hub becomes a massive benefit for everybody. Silicon Valley, the foremost technological center in the world, is synonymous with creativity. The corporate offices of several tech giants are based here. Additionally, it aids thousands of startups. Located in the southern Bay Area of San Francisco, Silicon Valley is a place known to all technological enthusiasts around the globe. Other than techies, it attracts the major student population of the world. It's home to Stanford University, one of the most preferred study destinations of students around the globe. Doesn't the name Silicon Valley intrigue you just a bit? Ever wonder where the name came from? Well, the name came from silicon, a major component used in the manufacturing of electronic components. This moniker was initially used in the US Weekly and gained popularity. The city, which was once a tech hotspot, has now become a diversified entrepreneur community. Can you think of a day without Instagram or Facebook? Given that both of these tech behemoths are based in Silicon Valley, you presumably can't envision a world without the presence of a vibrant tech hub. Also known as our very own Silicon Valley, living in this modern world where undoubtedly aware of the necessity of owning a mobile phone with all the latest features. The hottest selling phone in the market right now is undoubtedly the iPhone, which is also produced and developed by Apple, based in Silicon Valley. Numerous manufacturers of hardware and software, such as Cisco Services, Oracle, and Intel, all have their headquarters there. So to sum it up, Silicon Valley isn't just another contemporary metropolis. Perhaps it's the city of the future. Take a look around the city and we see the future unfolding before our very eyes. Things change fast. Technology changes as fast as the city layout does. One can't help but be mesmerized by the new wonders that this city holds. So if, if you look around the city, you can see how the future is coming to pass. The craziest thing is that you're not only going to get to see it, but you're going to get to experience it. Things here develop quickly. It's fast. Technology is evolving as quickly as urban planning. The wonders that this city has to offer will leave one speechless. And if it doesn't, your money back guaranteed that you didn't pay for. Anyways, just like anything else, it didn't just happen overnight. The growth of the city began gradually. Its development was driven by the emergence of computer culture, information technology, and the demand for microelectric components. With the development of MOSFET, M-O-S-F-E-T, a silicon-based transistor, in 1957, physicist Mohamed Attala made a significant contribution to the field of transistors. This resulted in a large number of startups using this technology. These fledgling businesses helped to create the Silicon Valley that we know today. The city, which at first served as the hub for fledgling businesses, has gone through and experienced an unfathomable economic boom. With the development of information technology, our world is becoming a global village. The world is now completely accessible at the touch of a finger thanks to the internet. Many IT-based companies are rooted in Silicon Valley making information technology the second most important industry Silicon Valley is based on, next to only semiconductor industries. From the outlook of the place being a tech hub, we might have created a typical industry orientation in our mind, but that's not actually true either. The city is beautiful with its green, natural beauty. It has waterfalls, beaches, snowy mountains, hot springs, inactive volcanoes, and a lot of eye-catching sights. 
In other words, technology and the economy are not the only factors drawing people towards it. The city could pass a tourist place too, considering that the number of sites it has to offer. Yeah, it could pass as a tourist place. Yet another striking feature of the place is its stunning ethnic diversity. Taking an evening stroll, you meet people from various nations, ethnicities, cultures. The place has a highly mixed population with people all over the country coexisting together as a whole. Sounds pretty cool, right? But not quite. What exactly is the present state of Silicon Valley? Bustling and as happening as ever? Unfortunately, no. The pandemic has affected everything. The 2021 Silicon Valley Index shed light on the impact of COVID-19 on the city. Racial and ethnic inequities, the struggle of those unable to keep up with escalating costs, and stark income and wealth divides are only a few of the problems that the pandemic has made worse in the region. While some people made the transition to remote work easier and even benefited from the startling global boom of the digital sector, others struggled with unemployment or worked outside the home in danger of getting the vid. Due to employment losses, the up to 44,000 low-income tenants had housing cost burdens, which sharply increased their need for food assistance. The speed of the internet was affected too. Even though 97% of students in Silicon Valley had access to a computer and internet at home, it wasn't sufficient for remote learning. Graduation rates fell and the percentage of high school dropouts increased three percentage points, with the homeless having the highest rates. Does being at the top necessarily mean the best? The alarmingly high price for residences in the city is one of the most obvious. A young employee at an IT company in Silicon Valley commented, $3,500 for a one-bedroom apartment seems excessive considering the services supplied. Dang, that's a lot. People have long been concerned about having to pay exorbitant rent for necessities. So this isn't an uncommon viewpoint. Living in the city is far too expensive. And not only in terms of rent, for someone making the average salary, everything's too expensive and out of their price range, leaving them with little choice except to live outside. This covers all expenses, from food to medical. Other significant issues the city faces include heavy traffic and a crowded population. Though the city provides a neat and clean image to the world, the reality is real ugly. Everything including air, water, and land is under the threat of pollution in this city. Masses of solid waste products are generated annually, causing a challenge to waste management. Heavy traffic and industries increase the pace of air pollution. And groundwater testing in the area revealed that toxic chemicals, notably a solvent called trichlorethylene, were present, possibly from leaking pipes or underground storage tanks, except for private wells. Municipality utility suppliers generally handle drinking water appropriately. The volatile vapor plumes are the biggest threat to human health. These are substances that are underground but are discharged into the atmosphere after rising to the surface. All of these factors add up to Silicon Valley being the most polluted city in the United States. And we haven't even talked about the one that causes the most harm among these difficulties. How would it feel to be constantly under pressure to perform at your best? To exist in a fiercely competitive environment where a careless error might endanger your entire career? This causes the rise of an undiscussed topic, people's mental health. No one talks about it here. The constant expectation of firms to be the best takes a toll on people's mental health. And honestly, it's often not taken care of. Deadlines and late night work hours can often be draining. Employees working in the IT industry are prone to develop a lot of health problems due to the continuous physical and mental stress from their work. Diseases are either induced, sustained, or exacerbated by the stress, said a source. Mental health ultimately affects their physical health of the person and it ultimately decreases productivity. With a good amount of competition between leading companies, this issue has been given a special emphasis. You know how the saying goes, even a white rose has a black shadow. Though things may look a certain way and feel a certain way, it's, it's not how we see it from the outside. Sure, there might be issues, but there are also solutions, and Silicon Valley being the tech hub that it is will obviously find its way to overcome all of these challenges. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. For the dreamers out there with mind-boggling ideas on tech, Silicon Valley is no doubt the perfect place to turn your ideas into realities.